What's going on YouTube? Three Bear Minimum here and I want to give you guys an update. Uh, I've been looking through my video content and it's hard to believe that the video I have of interactions with a trespasser was the largest viewed video I've had so far. It had over 26,000 views. I never expected this and there's a lot of people in there asking if there's any update, um, any uh, updates on this or anything else to know what was the resolution. And I'm here to tell you, so hopefully some of you guys can uh, can find this. Um, if you've seen the other video, if not, uh, look down below. There'll be a link in the description to the original video. And you can see my interactions with the trespasser. Where I'm not trying to be an internet vigilante here. I was just merely, you know, I recorded. Uh, let me go ahead and give you all the premise. So before all this, someone had reached out to me and said, Hey, beer, you know, there's been a truck parked on your property there on High Knob Road for the past couple of months. You know, you might want to go check it out. I'm like, what the hell? Because it, it was winter time. You know, I hadn't had a chance to get out there. And uh, actually, it wasn't even winter. It was just uh, spring. Um, this cat, I'm not even going to say his name. But if you look at the original video, when I interact with him, I give up my address. And if you go ahead and look up, you know, Hardy County GIS and look up that address and you can find the adjacent property, you can find his information. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to go find it. His property might be seven acres. Wink, wink. Um, so, and then if you get, so it turns out the guy, um, the truck he had there was a rental that he never returned. Um, I had gone back to the property two weeks later with my six-year-old son so he can go ride his dirt bike. And this guy, again, as soon as I pulled my property, here he comes. What are you doing on my property? I said, sir, I beg your pardon again. I reminded you this is my property. You've already had the police here. Do I got to get him here again? So he starts giving me a whole bunch of hell about how I'm on his property and how this cabin's his. And he's just going to be nice and let me use it. Mind you, I've owned the place for five years prior to this. And then he goes, be awfully... Awfully bad if something happened to that little girl of yours there. And, well, I said I have a six-year-old son, okay? I looked at him. I said, sir, you need to leave. I went to the back of my Jeep, and I brandished. I did not aim at him. I brandished with the breech open my 20-gauge shotgun. Um, I just, you know, held it across me. And I was like, sir, you need to calm down. You need to leave. I will protect my son's life. And he kept kept going on and on and on and on. I said, son, start your start your dirt bike up, you know. And my son knew what to do. He gets his dirt bike started. He's, rang, 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 rang. He kept revving that engine. And I kept looking at the corner of my eye. And there's a guy. He's realizing we can't hear him now. He turned around. He left. Um, some other incidents that this cat had up on a mountain was uh, one of the fellows up there who's been there for 30 years now, he was having asphalt delivered to have a new driveway put down. And this guy came right out, middle of the road, stopped the dump truck from coming up the mountain. Now, mind you, these are steep hills, okay? It's High Knob Road. High Knob Road has some pretty steep inclines to get up to the top. And you just don't stop a dump truck when they're on literally an 11% grade. I mean, the guy's got it. He's, he's in low one trying to get all the way up there. And this guy decides to stop him. And long story short... <laughs> the guy got his ass kicked. Truck driver wasn't having any of that. The person, I just kind of want to say his name, but I'm not going to. He, follow, he follows the dump truck all the way up to the guy's property. And then starts hooting and hollering, I own this property. You can't put a driveway here. This is mine. So apparently everywhere on the mountain, this, this cat's got something wrong in his head. Something's definitely wrong with him. Um, and... I, again, I, I called him out, you know. I, I said, man, why don't you go back over to your meth lab is one of the things. I said, he goes, meth lab? Did you say meth lab to me? I'm like, yes, in fact, I did, you know. And he, he just turned and that was another incident. I had three run-ins with him. But anyway, um, I have since sold the property. Uh, I got out of there. The new owners went on to the Facebook page for that owner's group. And they, their message said, sorry, you know, for my first message to be a, a negative one, but we just bought this property and we have a trespasser on our cameras. They went ahead and put up wireless uh, um, cell, cellular wireless cameras. And yeah, I can't imagine having, a, having, having an internet cord plugged into a camera uh, when you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. 
anyway, because this is West Virginia. So I went ahead, I removed myself from the page, and I messaged somebody that, you know, hey, they need to let Hardy County Sheriff know. Because I did have a no trespass order put against him on that property. But anyway, the dude was arrested uh, a few weeks later because if, if you look him up, you'll see he has an address somewhere in Moorfield. Um, and if you go to that address, it's just, it's a blank vacant lot. Um, so anybody who was looking for him, the address they had on file was a blank vacant lot. Up here in this mountain community, let me tell you something, man. This is one of the communities where if you want to hide, this is where you go. Um, and that's what he was doing. And he, he did just that. But from my interactions with him, Hardy County Sheriff was able to finally, when they got, when they got on the, the, the bolo to be on the lookout for, you know, a nationwide, you know, um, uh, I, I don't know how it works, but cause I had later talked to the officer again, his name was officer Spencer. I later talked to him again and he mentioned, you know, without the interaction with me, they wouldn't have known where this guy was. So they found him. They arrested him. He was taken to the uh, uh, the Eastern Regional uh, Jail uh, there in in uh, I think it's in Hardy County. It might be in Hampshire County, but he was taken to the jail, and then he was extradited to Loudoun County, Virginia, and he was brought up on grand larceny charges because it was a rental he never returned, and he got off or something. I mean, I, I, I followed the case a little bit, you know, just looking at the updates and he got off. But now if you go back and search his name again over in Loudoun County, he apparently still has not returned to truck and is now a fugitive from justice yet again. So it'll only be a matter of time before he's locked up again. But I'm not trying to be, you know, the, 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 the internet vigilante here. I wasn't trying to be the duff guy. When I, when I first approached him, you noticed in the first video, you know, I'm a little stern, like, can I help you, sir? If he just said, hey, you know, my name's, you know, my name's M152, you know, how you doing? If he would have been, you know, approachable, if he would have been cordial, I would have said, sir, you know, this is my land. If he wouldn't have said, no, it's my land, you know, if he would have agreed with me that this was my property, because it was, I would have said, sir, look, I'm only here like once every other month, you know, feel free to park here because... It was the only driveway in that area. Now, he could pull off the road and get to his property, but where he had his little, it looked like a little homeless camp set up, it would be, you know, easily a 600-foot walk to go from where he could park to walk down where he was setting up camp. If I'm not even going to bring up, I'm not going to put the pictures in this video or anything. That's, that's his business. You know, I do have pictures of it, but that, that's his business, and I'm not here to air that out. So, if he had been cordial with me, I would have went home and said, okay, you know, got to know you, shake hands. I would have done all that. But that's not the way it turned down. You know, I just said, it's my property. And he's like, no, it's mine. You know, you half spoke. So, this, this dude, he definitely has something wrong with him. I mean, the, people see him. You know, I got other friends on that mountain still. Like, they'll, they'll be going up there. And he'll just stand there in the middle of the road, in the middle of the night. And as you go, just go around him. He'll just... You know, just at random times in the middle of the night, he's literally just standing in the road. He's got this really creepy vibe to him. Um, I couldn't find any information on him, you know, when I looked him up. But, uh, you know, he used to be a geologist, you know. And, and one of the other things I said to him <laughs> another time I was up there was I said, You're, you used to be a geologist. <laughs> the only rocks you know about are the ones in your head, you know. But that's just, that's just me. But anyway, guys. That's the update. Property sold. I picked up another piece of land in another area of West Virginia. It's over an hour closer to home. Much nicer community. The community I'm in now is just, it's awesome. There's people all over the place. There's kids everywhere. They got 20 plus miles of dirt roads all through the community where I could ride my four-wheeler and my Jeep and all that. And uh, they, got, you know, they got a real nice common area. Uh, where kids can go play, swimming lake, fishing lake, you know, old, you know, old, old time, old time uh, uh, playground set. <clears throat> it's great, and everyone there is so nice. People at the High Knob Road uh, community, they were great. You know, that that was a nice little getaway, uh, but 
this guy just ruined it for a lot of people. Uh, again, guys, three bare minimum. I'm out. Where's my mouse? If y'all wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to click stop the video. I'm not going to edit this. There you are.